Hi everyone! Today we are going to talk about Paradox University by Alberto Milan, edited by APA Board Games. Paradox University is a playing card game from 2 to 4 players, suited for ages above 8 and with an approximate duration of 25 minutes. The goal in the game is to cause time paradoxes to your rivals. Setup Prepare the deck of cards according to the number of players. For two players, six characters and two copies of each one. For three players, five characters and three copies of each one. And for four players, four characters and four copies of each one of them. Each player takes a help card. Place the box with the score side at everyone's reach. Once this is done, everything is ready to start playing. Player's turn. The active player will perform one of the following actions. Flip the first card of the deck so everyone can see it and put it facing down in an available space from another player. The capacity of each player varies depending on the number of players. For two players, it is six. For three players, five. And for four players, four spaces. If they don't have any space left, they cannot receive cards. Send a card to another player. To do so, take a card from your game zone and take it to the first gap available from another player. In case of sending it to a player at full capacity, both cards are switched. You cannot send a card which has just taken an action. You cannot send a card to the player who just sent you one. After having sent them, cards are stacked, removing the gaps. Observe a rival's card in secret, without being seen by the other players. Flip two rival cards. If the two cards are the same, this will create a time paradox. The player in possession of the paradox must discard all characters and the player who caused it will score one point. If the two cards are different, they are placed again facing down and the game continues. When the players reach their full capacity, flip their last character and leave it facing up the rest of the game. If the character is sent to another player, it will remain facing up. If it is sent to a player with a character already facing up, this one is flipped again, facing down. The next player to perform an action will be the one who received the action in the previous turn. The game ends when a player reaches three or six points, depending on what the players had decided at the beginning of the game. And that's everything by now. We hope you liked the video, and of course, Paradox University. Remember, you will find the link to the campaign in the description. See you soon!